Hi, uh, welcome back to another Shark tutorial. I know it's actually been a few months since I've last put one up, I'm very sorry. Uh, basically, I was asked by a YouTube user, in fact, quite a few months ago, on how to make a lower thirds graphic. Uh, I did originally do this, make create this tutorial a few months ago, but then I was I thought it was a bit too long, so I scrapped it, and then uh, I've had a lot of stuff from work, like deadlines and whatnot, so I've been dealing with that. But I finally come around and I thought, I'll do this tutorial. It's not going to be like a lot of my other tutorials in which I literally go through step by step giving you the exact figures because with these type of lower thirds graphics it's all dependent upon what you personally want and so what I may think is good is not what you think is good is what not what your client for example if you were working in a company wouldn't think is good. Uh, I'll just show you basically the concept of how to do it if you've watched any of my other videos especially ones involving the animation module you already know how to do this, it's literally just putting it all together. Uh, no, we're fine. So, what we basically going to do is we'll, I'll just show you what you can do and I'll show you how I did it, just to talk you through it. So, uh, if we take this first editing scene. So, here's an editing, here's one scene that I did. If it plays. So as you can see, the basic premise is we've got um, these two clangy things come in, we get a clang noise and we get the free way frolics thing come up. Uh, very simple, very easy to do. So how did we do this? Um, I went animation module, I'll click and load uh, desktop. So as you can see, I've got three three layers in here. I've got the free way frolics text, which basically is just animated to come in from the two second framework like that to uh, I've got you might notice two lights the lights just give it a bit of oomph because otherwise it's very dead uh, if we turn the lights off for example but that doesn't look nice at all but with lights kind of looks a bit better kind of works a bit better so that's one thing that you uh, a good tip for you if you're using the 3d text inside of Sharker try to use the lighting it makes a whole world of difference it does make it look a lot better uh, da, 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 da. and then obviously we've got two layers one for our left side one for our right side so and basically each side is just animated to come in and come in like that and this is all a PNG so literally I could put in a layer behind this if I really wanted to so I go down 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 and added in a layer let's say original charge jump that's what it would look like so there we go as you can see and then obviously that's just rendered out added some music to it but that's basically the concept so the concept is literally you animate something you have your text or whatever fade in or your text animation come in and that is it so I'll show you a couple of other examples just to give you a, another some more ideas so uh, clear this go back to here settings clear uh, we'll go to for example this one so here's another quick one that I made so this this graphic kind of comes in and then we get the jar news thing fade in here and underneath here you could obviously write whatever you wanted and you can have that scrolling and using basic simple masking and stuff you could yeah like you have in normal news just have that keep scrolling and updating and whatnot pretty simple pretty easy as I said this was a transparency fade in so animation add layer all it literally was was a Got my graphic, drop the transparency all the way down. Oh, sorry. Click plus crop. And then bring it over here, increase the transparency, and there you go. That's as simple as it is. And obviously, in that one, I put in a, uh, 
a bit of movement but you can have it without movement and it looks just as good so it's literally a very very easy thing to do by the way this thing here was created inside of GIMP what I did is I got this Jashaka icon which is available under the Jashaka files folder and just two solids one blue one white and just made it like that and I thought it looked okay didn't look too bad the last thing I'm going to go over is uh, something that that user particularly asked for and that was to do with a rotating earth graphic an easy way to do this inside of the shaka is a uh, in your desktop I believe it's desktop click load find where your shaka is program file go to media go to images and this is where you get your jar logo by the way as well but there's something called earth text if you click earth text and click load as you see you now have the earth texture what I've done here up here on the right hand side here as you can notice the difference is that this is see-through is all I did was I took it into GIMP and uh, I made it all see-through using the color sector tool uh, and then what I did is I clicked on animation click add layer so we'll take this earth text one for example now you got a flat image. What you want to then do is click on the Layers tab and click on Sphere. Then uh, you want to actually, this is the North Pole, so you want to make that to the north. So you're going to take your X rotation and bring that in. I'm going to make it 90 degrees. I know scientifically or something it might be a bit off, but psh, this is graphics. Man. <laughs> Just do whatever you need to. And then obviously you can start rotating the Earth. Oh, Maybe I was wrong, that was the South Pole. <laughs> it's a good thing I'm not a navigator. Uh, okay. And here we go. And that's basically it. And then obviously you can rotate this, you can scale this however you want. So I'll just give you a small example of what I've already done with regards to that. So I'm going to click a project here, click my editing scene, add that in. So here we have something that's very common in, movie, in programs nowadays. So we have our background video, so we're getting to the end of one program for example we've got our company logo or whatever and then we've got some text saying coming up next and then we've got a little preview of the program that's on next it's obviously this is a very very simple and basic one showing you basic concepts of how to do it but this is actually what they do on the things they just do it in a more f extravagant manner but this is actually what they're doing um so to get this effect all i literally did was i bunged everything into the end editing module I had my uh, rotating earth, which I literally resized using the size button on the side here. And then I had my text image and the same thing. I resized using the size button, the res uh, resize button, scale button. And then I positioned it using the position button. Same thing with my text and the same thing with this. Uh, to get this little fade in effect, what I did is uh, I, I came to the side here and clicked on loom it in brought that in on top of the material now what you do is you click on loom in and it goes to mix on a mix if I bring in a new one for example here it'll say 0 equals 125 and basically that shows you how it should fade in and out if you change that to a single value then it holds it on that value by holding it on that value and then changing the softness you can actually make this nice little fade in and uh, it's a pretty cool, pretty cool effect. I might actually cover that a bit greater one day. Uh, I'll see how it is. But I hope you can see very quickly. All it is, is you, if you're using the animation module, it's just simple keyframing, putting your assets together. It's just like doing anything else in visual effects, really. It's just putting your, your assets together, layering them up in a ma manner and with timing that you, that you like. And that's literally all it is. Uh, as I said, you can do it in the editing module as well, whatever is easiest for yourself. Obviously, in the editing module, it might not be as complex or as fancy. So what you could do is just do it in the animation module, render it out, and then bring it into the editing module and overlay it on top of your base footage. Uh, I hope this helped. Again, I'm very sorry to the YouTube user who asked about it that I'm so late, but uh, you know what they say, better late than never. Uh, thank you, and if you have any questions, please let me know. I'll see what I can do. Bye.